Hello and welcome to Star Citizen Tech Tweaks and Apps. Each week we'll be looking at a different piece of software, hardware, peripheral or tweak that can improve your Star Citizen experience like voice attack, power grid, cry engine console commands, track IR to name but a few. Today we're looking at voice attack. Voice attack will allow you to bind voice commands to complex keys, macros, simple keys, kind of whatever you want, even audio files and that sort of jazz. So we can do stuff like dance. Evading incoming fire. Or, if we go into the other mode, uh, lock on, power to shields, transfer and power to shields, power to weapons, transfer and power to weapons. Voice Attack is available from voiceattack.com for Windows XP, Vista 7 and 8. It comes with a 21 day free trial. If you wish to purchase the product, it is $8 though. Um, I think it's well worth it. It's really, really useful. You can be used for pretty much all games. Um, I use it for VR stuff as well as to helping me record things. Um, you can bind quite complex macros or very simple macros or single key presses and all that sort of jazz as well. And you can download other people's profiles, which is one of the joys of this. So once you've installed Voice Attack and you've gone through the little tutorial, which will take about five minutes, um, they'll also help you set up Voice Attack and you need to talk to your computer. Obviously you need a microphone to run this. I mean, I'm not upset that at the beginning. You need a microphone for Voice Attack. Um, you talk to your computer for about five minutes and then it will bring you onto this screen. Um, voice attack will now work a lot better than it would have if you hadn't set that up. So, um, you're going to see here it's going to try and work out what I'm saying as commands, but obviously it can't work it out unless I say things like lock on. Locking on. It will say something and recognize what I've done. Fire. So, um, I can get different profiles to do lots of different things. I can get it to do complex macros that I pre programmed pre-program myself, uh, simple key presses, or I can get it to sass me, dance, evading incoming fire, um, all, all that sort of stuff. So that does a complex series of macros. Um, you can also just import other people's already made profiles. Star Citizen, in fact, did a few articles on voice attack profiles. So there's quite a few available with lots of different voices. Um, as I said, there's one for Jarvis. Um, there's there's loads. There's pirate ones. There's lots of silly ones. Um, I'll link you to uh, the variety of different voice attack profiles there are. Um, but I have just used one that was available on Reddit, a very simple one, uh, for Star Citizen basic controls and Star Citizen power and shield controls, which I've merged together. Literally, all you need to do to import a profile is download whatever profile you want. Um, click on here. Um, and then either click on create new profile or import profile. If you want to merge two profiles together, you can just import a profile. Um, directly into a uh, profile you already have um, but uh, if we just click on import profile and click on one of the ones we've just downloaded and um, start at some basic um, it will then put all those key commands really there you can then edit the profile um, by clicking on the little man with the, um, the pencil there um, and then you can import more profiles into this one to merge them together so I can import the power one that I've just got uh, and then click on uh, import and it will import all the other settings over and now I've merged two profiles together. So when I go into the game now, my voice commands should work. So I can go, lock on. Locking on. And if there was a target there, it would lock on. I could also, I could also do um, combat mode. G safe and C that will cycle my G safe and combat uh, and combat staff. Um, flight mode. Flight mode. Resuming control. Yeah, sometimes you've got to be firm. It doesn't mind. always work. Accurately, but the more you use it and the more you go through the tutorial step repeatedly, the better it will understand you. And um, you can correct it as well. Dance. Evading incoming fire. Duck. Get to the chopper. I don't know what it says, get to the chopper. I don't know what's going on there. But basically, voice attack is a really, really useful program to bind to whatever keys you want. Um, uh, you can use it to do stuff outside of Windows as well. Uh, really, really, really useful for that. So you can do your recording settings. You can set your um, it to do volume controls. Uh, you can get it to switch between relative mode and and all that sort of stuff in Star Citizen. You can have it so it does loads and loads of pre-programmed settings. You can even do it if you're going to be talking on comms simultaneously to ignore certain things when you're holding a button down or when you're pressing a button. So my um, my mouse four button, for example, will mute the commands so that it doesn't produce any more commands in game. So it's not going to miss what I say if I say fire or eject or something while in comms um it doesn't eject me whereas if i go now go eject don't leave me here to die <laughs> alone. you'll get angry although she won't let me eject um to get the most from voice attack it's worth checking out a few different profiles and then editing settings changing some of the voice commands to your liking this can take a little while but it's well worth it 
Anna by Confused Monkey is one of the most quirky and awesome profiles I've seen. Let's uh, let's check her out. Hello, Anna. All right. Running my initialization routines. Initialization completed. To stop me talking at any time, say, Anna, stop talking, or, shut up, Anna. For help, say, tell me about yourself. To find out what my settings currently are, say, what are your settings? My current settings are as follows. My wiki is turned off. My personality is turned off. Currently, I am not set for a specific ship. For my commands to function at top level, I should be loaded with a ship profile. To do this, just say load of and Bill Hornet, or low profile for 325i. Load the Aurora. Let's go, Aurora, I. Done. Tell me about yourself. Sure. You can ask me about different aspects of my manual by saying, teach me about, or tell me about, each subject. Would you like to be told about ship controls, telling jokes, or how to use the wiki? To get a quote you'll need to ask about a specific subject, such as the Babel fish, airborne whales, or greed. Simply say, tell me about the Babel fish, teach me about greed, or talk to me about airborne whales. If you'd teach. like to hear about my ship controls, or how to access my wiki, say, tell me about ship controls. Teach me about greed. Greed for life, for money, for love. Knowledge has marked the upward search of mankind. And greed, you mark my words, will not only save your sorry ass, but that other malfunctioning corporation called the U.E.E. .E. There's a load and load of different things you can do, and loads of different profiles can do loads of different things. It's not just about setting complex macros, it's not just about getting missiles to lock on, um, or getting shields to go up where you want them to. That's all possible, but you can also get huge databases of information, and huge immersive AI based stuff. So for VR, or for Elite Dangerous, or for Star Citizen, this thing is amazing if people have put the time and effort in. And with Anna, this guy, Confused Monkey, or whoever the hell it is, is put a real large amount of time and effort into increasing the data banks of this voice attack profile. I think it's great. Anyway, guys, um, I hope that was uh, enough information. Um, I'll put all the links in the description so you can read about voice attack more, get all the different profiles. Um, it will give you some advanced settings as well to work out how to edit your own profiles down and to make it as efficient as possible. I really, really love this. This is an absolute great um, thing for Star Citizen and for VR alike. Um, don't forget, we're doing this every Thursday, um, so stay tuned to next week and we'll be doing something else, something interesting. We'll try, we're waiting for our track IR to uh, turn up, so hopefully that will turn up soon and that will be awesome. You take care, guys. I will see you in the verse. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Whee!